Hello and welcome to Flat Out Helpful. My name is Jared, and in this video, I'm going to be explaining why Flat Earthers pointing out that rockets take a curved trajectory is not proof rockets don't actually go to orbit. It has been a while since my last video due to getting back to work, and I am currently in between gear at the moment, so sorry about the absence of my face from the intro. So, without any further ado, let's get started. You could call it rocket science, but in reality, it's just basic physics, something flat earthers constantly profess their inability to understand. Flat earthers are under the impression that because rockets launch at an angle, they are just going into the ocean. They assume that in their version of orbital mechanics, the correct way to launch a rocket is straight up, and this is probably why none of them work for NASA. There are two things we need to consider here first being a trajectory of launches themselves, and secondly the perspective of the observer. For the first consideration, a simple runover on the basics of orbital mechanics will suffice, no fancy equations required. Let's say this is you with the ball on planet Earth. You want to get this ball to orbit, so you are going to try and throw it different ways and see which one works best. Let's say you give it a brisk throw straight out from you. Of course, this won't go to orbit, probably won't even go across a football field, but you did manage to make the ball land a good distance away from you. Now, if you want this ball to orbit the Earth, you're going to need to throw it at a brisk 17,000 miles per hour, or 27,358 kilometers per hour, which is the general speed for low Earth orbit. When you get up to the pitcher's mound and chuck that ball at 17,000 miles per hour, it's not going to go very far though because it will experience heavy friction with the thick atmosphere at sea level. There will be nothing left of it not long after you throw it. But what if you throw the ball where the atmosphere won't instantly vaporize it, like at the altitude the International Space Station orbits at? Let's say you somehow manage to make it up to 254 miles or 408 kilometers above the Earth's surface. When you throw that ball, if you were to not move from your exact location afterwards, it would come back to you about 90 minutes later after having completed a lap around the Earth. However, you cannot just magically jump up to low Earth orbit, and most rockets must start out on the surface of the Earth. This in turn creates the issue of needing to get high up, but also needing significant horizontal velocity. So why then does a rocket not launch straight up? Well, that is only fulfilling one of the requirements to get to orbit, which is height. Launching a rocket straight up will only get you the maximum altitude it is capable of, as all the energy goes into a vertical velocity, but it doesn't put you in an orbit, or even a good position to insert into an orbit. Now, if the rocket dynamically changes its trajectory during flight, starting out going straight up and then beginning to change towards a lower angle of attack, it can accumulate an inclined velocity. This allows the rocket to gain altitude while also gaining lateral acceleration needed for orbit. Over time, the angle of attack will continue to decrease, which is what causes the arch shape of the trajectory of the rocket. But the angle will never go below the horizon, as it still has to keep its altitude. This is the part where the perspective of the observer comes into play, as not all the time will the path the rocket takes appear like this due to certain factors, which include the observer's location relative to the path of the rocket being parallel or perpendicular, the barrel distortion for a wide-angle lens, and the fact that the Earth is a sphere. The closer you are to being parallel with the launch trajectory, the more it will look like an arc. Here is a photo I took from the press site at Kennedy Space Center of the ESA Solar Orbiter launch. As you can see, it looks like it's almost going up and then curving back down when in reality, it doesn't go down at all and keeps going up. That can be seen in this photo by John Krauss of the same launch, taken more perpendicular to the launch trajectory. Both photos are of the same launch, but the perspective given by the relative location to the path of the rocket makes a big difference. This can be further demonstrated by using Flight Club, a tool that lets you visualize these paths for photography. This is what the launch would look like from above the Earth, 
This is what it looks like from where I took my photo using the same camera and lens profile. And this is what it looks like from a more perpendicular or wide angle view. Notice it goes below the horizon in the distance because it is following the shape of the Earth. So, as you can see, Flat Earthers are making a rather lousy argument that is ignorant of both orbital mechanics and the effects of perspective. Of course, the main dogma of Flat Earth arguments is to argue against something you do not have any knowledge of, which leads to faulty assumptions and thinking. That about wraps it up for this episode of Flat Out Helpful. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and click on that subscribe button and hit the bell notification next to it. Also, my Patreon link will be in the video description if you want to consider supporting the channel. Thanks for watching, and have a flat out awesome day.